Good Wednesday evening. I'm Kelsey Gerkins with the First Alert Weather Center, keeping a really close eye on the Alisal Fire. And here's a look at your forecast. Tonight, we are seeing some very gusty winds there coming from the northeast at 20 to 25 miles per hour. Gust primarily around 40 miles per hour. But some of those canyons and passes seeing winds stronger than that tonight. Heading into Thursday morning, we get a break from the winds. The winds shift, but they become very light. Not expected to see a wind-driven fire as we head into your Thursday forecast. So for now, that wind advisory is set to expire at 3 a.m. tomorrow morning as we finally get to say goodbye to this very long stretched wind event. But we've got a couple more hours of these extreme winds, especially where this fire zone is. You'll be seeing those sustained winds get pretty strong throughout those overnight hours. But I do want to show you by the time we get to Thursday, we actually get to sing single digits across the board. So some big relief for all of our local cities. But unfortunately, the winds then head down south, creating fire down there. Now, as the wind shift, we'll see that smoke move around a little bit. The smoke has primarily been pushing to the south because it's been strongly a northerly wind. And this is actually bringing that smoke all the way into Baja, California. And you can see Southern California really seeing some moderate smoke because of that. Locally, we had some unhealthy air quality because the smoke kind of gathered as the winds calm down today. As the winds pick up, they'll push a little bit more out to see, but we're still seeing some moderate air quality across the area because there is enough smoke in the air to warrant that. You're seeing the area shaded in yellow here dealing with that moderate air quality. That is an improvement, though, from what we were seeing in those early evening hours. Now, looking ahead, the big change is the shift in winds and the warm up. We have a building ridge of high pressure coming on in. This is bringing a warming trend as we head into Friday as that ridge noses in. It's going to get windy in Ventura County. Santa Ana wind event both Friday through Saturday morning for the Ventura County area, really prompting some critical fire weather there. And you'll see just how those winds really start coming from the east, creating Santa Ana winds, a warm, dry wind throughout Ventura County all day there on Friday. Winds for Santa Barbara County and San Luis Obispo County expected to be pretty light, but look how strong they are down south in Ventura County. Lots of those sustained winds from 20 to 30 miles per hour all throughout your Friday, staying strong through Saturday morning before we start to get a little bit of a break. So that's why red flag warning has now been issued officially kicks in there Friday at 6 a.m. goes until Saturday at 8 p.m. because of those strong easterly winds throughout the area. I do want to show you how things change by Saturday night. Onshore flow comes back in. This is going to bring that cloud cover back in for next week, cooling temperatures down as far as temperatures for tomorrow, warmer than what we had out there today. In fact, for Santa Barbara, you hit 81, mid 70s in Goleta, Isla Vista. If you're in Lumhook, your high temperature is at 76. Santa Maria at 80, low 80s in Buellton, San Inez. Taking you up into San Luis Obispo, a high temperature of 80, Paso at 80, some 70s there along the beach cities, down into Ventura County. Pretty mild for tomorrow as you're in the mid to upper 70s at the coast, Ojai at 80. That's like your forecast. Have a nice evening.